Okay. So today is your birthday. Mm -hmm. Nine years old. What did you get for your birthday today? I got a Razer MX650 dirt bike. Mm -hmm. And do you like it or? Yeah, I like it. It goes fast. Mm -hmm. So what happened? There was a little kid who wanted to go on the back, so he he, he put a helmet on, and I rode and I rode he rode on the back, and I rode and I drove it, and we went down like the corner over there. And then we turned back, and I went to turn to drop him off back at his house, and then there was like this acorn thing, and we ran it over, and it popped my back tire. Mm. Okay, and then what? It took me a long time to get home because it was like sliding everywhere. It was it was bumpy. It was terrible. So you still rode it even though you popped your back tire? Yeah, but it does not go fast at all. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do we need to do now? We need to go to the gas station farm and get a patch or. Yeah, you need to get a patch and get it, um, get the tire pumped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Daniel just got his bike today, okay, for his birthday. And um, so when he told me that he popped it, and he's only had it for, what, four hours now? Maybe about four hours, four hours. And uh, so I was upset. Was I upset? Yeah, I was mad. Yeah, because I was like, I just got this thing. Now he needs a patch. He needs a patch and to put air in it. So now I have to get a patch and put air in it, right? So I'm annoyed, right? Because I don't feel like, I feel like I've, I've done a lot today. You know, even more than he even knows, right? So this thing popping, and now it's something else that I have to do, was really frustrating. But you told me, you said, it wasn't your fault, right? They are tiny. No, you're right. It, like, you didn't put the acorn there in the ground and all this other kind of stuff, okay? But there is a weight limit on that bike. Of what? 140 pounds. 140 pounds. And you're not too far away from that. So what I imagine is that when you put somebody else on that bike, I'm almost positive it was over the weight limit. So maybe it was riding a little lower than it should have been riding in the first place. I'm not sure of anything. I'm just saying it probably because you're um, pr almost certain you're very close to that limit. You know? So what I'm saying is I was annoyed, but I had to. That's why I'm doing this video, right? Because, I mean, I there's been times when I just bought something and it broke or I dropped it or, you know, whatever the case is, right? I feel really bad too because I'm like, man, you know, I just got this thing. Now I can't use it or it won't work or something like that, you know, because of something I did. So now I'm annoyed. Okay. So I just got to get over it. Right. I have to get over that. And I want you to have this bike. I know that you like it. I know you're excited to get it. You've been talking about it forever. And at the same time, I need you to be patient with me too, okay? Because mommy, I have, I do have like a lot of things on my plate and this incident was not on my list of things to do. You know, stop and go purchase a patch and do, put the bike in the back of the truck and do all this other kind of stuff, right? So now I have, just like you do, you have to rearrange your plans because you planned on riding that bike right now, right? Those were your plans. Mm -hmm. Now you have to readjust because something happened that you didn't plan, and I have to do the same thing. Okay. Yeah. 
It's a really cute bike. It is a really cute little bike. And he looks really cute riding it. I'm gonna show it to you. So one thing that I wrote in one of my, um, I wrote an article and I wonder if it's still up. If it is, I'll put, I'll put a link to it, but it was about mothering, you know, being a mother and what that means and, you know, how that's a, a hard role to live up to. Like, if, especially, yeah, don't do that. You're going to make it worse or whatever. You got to fix it. Come show on the bike. Get up. See, <laughs> push it back some so you can see. Push it back a little bit more. Yep, that's it. See, isn't that cute? Yes, that's adorable, isn't it? My baby looks so cute riding it. All right, you can put it back over there. Put it back on the charger. So what I was saying is, you know, being a, being a mother is one thing. You know, you just have a baby and you're a mom pretty much, or parent or whatever, but being a good mom is something that nobody can live up to, like seriously, like really, <laughs> I mean, when, where, how do you reach being a good mom? Like, does that always depend on, be careful, baby. Does that always depend on what your children end up choosing to do? And if they end up choosing to, you know, do something out of the norm or out of what you expect? Does that mean you're not a good mother? Or, you know, even if they're already with you and you're unable for whatever reason, whether it's, you know, mental issues, addiction, you just don't want to or whatever, for those reasons, just, you know, you're not able to care for them the way human mothers typically care for babies, you know? Um, so what does that mean? Does that mean you're a terrible, you're a bad mom? Or I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So this article was about that, right? Plug it in. It was really about me looking at what mother means to me. Like I'm not letting somebody else tell me what mother is or what good mom is or bad mom or whatever. What does that mean to me? And how do I interact with these people that are living with me in my house? Okay. That were you know, that were born out of me. How, 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 what is that interaction like? What is that for? You know, what are, what am I using them for? Because in, in the video that I did previously, I talked about how money is a collaborator to really help you to get to what you really want, right? So I think the role of mother is also a collaborator to help me get to what I really want. So what I had to do was really look at, okay, what is this role getting me? What is it getting me, you know, if anything, to care for Daniel, you know, to, to, to have him sitting here with me, you know, on the video with, with you all as my son and me as his mother, you know, what, what, if anything, is that, is that really getting me? And that's a question that I had never asked before, ever, ever. You know, so it was really interesting and it impacts my interaction with my kids, right? Because it's not just about them uh, being there as collaborators to help me to get something else, right? Does, does it have to be that way? Because the way that I define learning is just sharing a perspective and experience, right? That's it. And, and learning has no goal. There's no goal whatsoever. And it's just sharing of perspective and experience. Can I have that kind of relationship? Daniel, can I have that kind of relationship to share perspective and experience with you and you do the same with me? Share, you know, perspective and experience. So we're both, we're both learning. Just because I'm the parent doesn't mean I automatically just know more than you do. Okay, I might know more of the rules of the society or whatever because I've been here longer. But as far as you know, inherent knowing, that doesn't mean that, that I know more than he does, right? Just because I'm older. Because believe me, just because you're older does not mean that you're wiser in a lot of cases, but I ain't gonna name no names. 
So that's it. So what we're going to do is, what time is it? It's already nine o'clock. So my first, my first meeting is tomorrow is at like nine and like almost through lunch. So as soon as I get done with my last meeting, we can go run to AutoZone and get a patch. Put the, put the bike in the back of the car and on the way home, just stop by a gas station and put some air in. Put the patch on. Maybe they can put the put the patch on there because I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how yeah, to do that. Why don't we put the air in? Isn't there a thing that you just unscrew just like you have on your uh, bike? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, how are they going to put the air in? There's an air machine at the gas station. You put the quarters in. Like people go and fill up their tires. You put the quarters in and you just pump the air. Or maybe take the Jiffy Lube. Jiffy Lube fills up my tires for free. Maybe they'll do your bike, you think? Yeah, can, can we, can we, um, tell AutoZone that happened to see if, like, if the patches work for, like, dirt bikes? Yeah, we can ask them all those questions. I'm sure they'll know. They should have experts there. All right. Anything else you want to say to the people? No. Yeah. I wish it was saying. tomorrow. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Bye, y'all.